morning everyone welcome to a new florida vlog it's another gorgeous day here in orlando florida starting off by the pool area we've had a little bit of a lie-in it's currently quarter past nine which is a bit of a lie-in for us because we've been up at seven o'clock half six every day uh, everyone's just getting ready laura's getting ready now a lot of you have asked on instagram uh, can you see how laura does her makeup what she does before going to the parks etc how she manages to keep her makeup on all day all these sort of questions that i have no idea about because you know i always just look amazing all the time <laughs> uh, so uh, laura's just about to do her makeup so i'm gonna actually send you inside and laura will show you a little bit of what she does quickly uh, for all you ladies out there that want to know about makeup and theme parks some of you won't wear makeup at all you'll just put your sun cream on but some of you like to uh, do a little bit of makeup for all those uh, pictures and all that and instagram and stuff so uh, I'll let Laura show you that and then I think we're going to be off for breakfast somewhere. I'm not quite sure where we're going yet. Uh, breakfast and we might be playing golf today and then we're just going to see how the day unfolds. But we've smashed the theme parks the last few days. going to take a little bit of a break from theme parks and let's uh, see how we get on today. We might do a character breakfast or something like that. We'll see. Uh, but for now, I'm going to send you inside and you can uh, get your makeup done with Laura. So just looking out the window, there's a big massive raccoon in the tree. See if he comes down in a second. There he is. Oh, how gorgeous he is. Very cute. I thought it was a squirrel at first. It's like, blooming it, that's a massive squirrel there. Eh? I saw the oh, tail. He's coming down. Oh, he's coming down the wrong side. Oh, we can't no. see him. to say hello look oh look how gorgeous he is look that. at that oh wow oh, wow so guys a lot of you have been asking how i get my makeup to stay so nice how i get it to stay on and not drip and sweat everywhere so i'm just going to quickly talk about the basics of what i do and i believe that these do work these for me and they are affordable are the best things for me so when i'm in the bar I use these when I'm obviously in Florida, I use these. So I'll quickly go and show you the most important things that I do to help me make up stay longer. So these two are the most important products for me, especially this one. So this is the Elf Power Grip Primer. It is absolutely amazing, always sold out. So whenever I see some in stock, I'll buy some because it sells out really quickly and it's hard to get hold of. Now this setting powder, setting, setting spray is amazing. It does work great. And you can notice the difference between having this on and not having it on. So if you want to make it makeup last longer, use a good setting spray. I use the e.l.f. one. The NYX one is amazing. The Urban Decay one's amazing. However, if you can get one cheap like this or the NYX one, I won't go expensive. I would just stick with the um, affordable ones because they do just as good a job. I did try the MAC one and I hated it. Hated it with a passion. So I wouldn't recommend that one. But this one's amazing. So another thing I do is I use cream products first. So I'm using the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer, Putty Blush. Absolutely love these. So I use these first. Then I set them with a powder, so the corresponding bronze and powder and blusher. So there you go. So get those on, let them dry, then set them with the corresponding powders. Have you noticed? Affordable, really, really good. I've not tried this one yet, but that one's nice, so I'm going to give this one a try. But again, not everything's super expensive. I mean, my foundation is House Labs, that is expensive. Other than that, like everything's elf, oh, elf. So I can create a really, really nice look with affordable products. And that's the most important thing is being able to afford your skincare that you're doing because you'll enjoy it more and you won't be so scared to use it. Oh, you just have naturally gorgeous skin like me. You don't need any of that elf stuff. 
Oh, you Strider. wish. <laughs> you wish. I would have Strider. <laughs> So the next thing and final part of my makeup is a setting powder. Now I'm using the Shivon She. It is expensive, but I do like it. So I use this with my little puff, dab it in. I then, I can't quite do it right now. I dab the powder on the back of my hand so it doesn't get too full. And then I pop it, let me show you. Okay, so. I press it in all over just like that slowly and all over these puffs are the best thing to do make sure you dab some of that powder off there you go I don't know whether you can see the difference on here so let me put the next side on so hopefully you can see the difference so this is really good to help set your makeup in place as well so there are a couple of steps to makeup but for me i like it so i have got the what brand is it i think it's rimmel powder in ours which is good it's not as good as this but you know it is what it is for me it doesn't work that well for me this Givenchy one works better and it's a better colour as well because for me, I think, because this powder's a bit pink, I think it works better for me. But there's the whole makeup look done. I'm just going to put a bit of highlighter on it now and then I'm going to set it. So now you just spray it all over. Just like that. And let it dry. And once it's dry, it's done, it's set, I'm ready to go. And then later on, I'll show you how it looks later on. So later on, I will get oily, I will get shiny. So I will pop a bit more of this on and then a tiny bit more of this on. Just because I will be out in the, in the heat and stuff like that. So I do need that extra bit of help. But other than that, all done. And it doesn't, it normally only takes about 10 minutes, 15 minutes when I'm on my own. Because I was with you guys, it took a bit longer. But, as you can see, nothing's majorly expensive. I mean, this makeup brush was like three quid. Love it. That's, that's your foundation brush. Love it. Three quid. So, as long as you're happy with what you're using, it doesn't matter how expensive it is, how affordable it is, as long as you like what you're getting and you like the finished look, and that's all that matters. So, this is my finished look. Quite nice. You're getting in my finished look? Mm. My finished look, look. There we it's go. Ages on this. Ages. ages. He does. He does. Just quickly put my eyebrows like that. <laughs> put my setting setting spray on. I don't quite think it look as good as me, but hey ho. So yeah, that's everything. It's basic. It's not too major. I don't. I don't do anything too wild with me makeup and me anything like that. I'm not one of these people. I see a lot of these things online where people put set and spray in between every layer of makeup that they put on. So like their foundation, the concealer, the blush and contour, and I'm just not into that. I have tried that once, didn't work for me. I've seen people get the beauty blenders and put finishing spray on that. Again, didn't work for me. This is what works for me. Simple and this is what I like. So try whatever makeup you want to try. Try whatever techniques you want to try because you'll never know. You might find your perfect way to do your makeup. And always look at dupes because a lot of these are dupes for the um, expensive brands. So this e.l.f. is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Skin Filter. The Charlotte Tilbury is about 40 quid. This is like 10. So just look for dupes wherever possible and see if you like the look of them and you want to try them before you do go for the expensive stuff because maybe you want to go to the expensive stuff but you're a bit scared because it's a completely new product try the dupe the cheaper version and then if you feel confident enough go for the expensive one or if you found something amazing in an affordable brand perfect so yeah that's it so my that's makeup it. is all done you're ready for breakfast i am striding <laughs> on you know I'm what i mean excited, yeah. hope you all enjoyed that ladies yeah well set is good to show everyone does ask so there's Laura's nice makeup all done. Hair all good. 
Yeah. So yeah, we're going to head to Celebration Diner, I think, for breakfast. Okay, nice. And then we might see about the uh, see about playing Celebration Golf Course. Oh, that'd be really nice, yeah. Which you've played before, really nice. Haven't played golf for a while, got to rent the clubs and stuff, so we'll let you know the price on that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the plan. It's gorgeous out there. It's going to warm up to about 24 degrees oh, this afternoon. So shorts. So shorts, and little top and that. Bring well, a jacket in case, but jacket, yeah. yeah, it's warming up today. Ooh, nice. 20 degrees by 11, 24, 23 degrees by 1, 2 o'clock. I'm excited so. to wear my shorts again because I'm not wearing my shorts this whole holiday. No, nice hot day. So yeah, I'm excited. get your shorts on, love. So I'm just outside sitting, chilling, waiting for uh, everyone to get ready, enjoying the uh, sunshine. I uh, thought I'd have a quick chat with you all, catch up on some of the questions that we've had and a few of the little bits and bobs. Uh, first of all, the villa. I posted a little villa tour yesterday on TikTok uh, of this lovely villa that we're in. Response has been amazing. It's currently had about 130,000 views, which is amazing. And uh, the owners had loads of inquiries. So do make sure you follow me along on TikTok. Um, just chatting with the owner of the next home that we're going to be showing. Uh, lovely owner, resort we've never been to before, villa we've never been to before. And uh, really excited to uh, film that one and show you everything. And I've just negotiated again as well, a little Night Strider 10% off for you all on the villa that's coming up. It's actually a couple of villas coming up uh, that we're going to be showing. So I've managed to get you all a little 10% discount. Uh, I know a lot of you love the villa tours. It's how we're able to come so often as well. We do little collaborations and uh, it really helps us out and it helps a lot of you out as well. See what options are available and uh, also those little discounts I've managed to get you. So the owner of the next home is absolutely lovely. They all are all phenomenal. Uh, just chatting with her on WhatsApp and they're currently in the villa that we're going to and they're leaving uh, the day that we check in and uh, she just messaged saying they're going to leave us some goodies in that they haven't used, some groceries and stuff. So uh, love it, absolutely love it. The, ho the owners of these homes are always so phenomenal with us. So I uh, really do appreciate it. So I'm excited for that coming up. That's in uh, a few days time. And uh, we're going to be checking out of this gorgeous Windsor Hills Villa and then heading to a different one uh, to show you that one. You've got so many different options, so many different choices, which is great. Uh, a few of you have asked about car hire, uh, what's going on with the cars and stuff. We did get two cars. In hindsight, one of them probably is a little bit of a waste, but we have it as an option. We didn't quite know how it was going to work out. And uh, at the moment, mum and dad are quite happy coming to the parks and stuff. But um, if they got a little bit tired, they'd have the car. It's always handy to have. It is a bit of a luxury having a second one in case you need it. Um, in hindsight, we probably wouldn't have gone for it and probably would have just got Ubers if they needed them, but you went to know. We could have not got one car and then we were like, oh, well, I want to go there, you want to go there. Yeah, but as it stands, we've been sort of sticking together and having a great time, so haven't used it too much. Uh, but the company that we use is Alamo. I only book directly on the Alamo website. I don't do all the third-party sites and discount this, discount that. Uh, I normally just go straight on the Alamo website. I use them for the last five, six trips. Uh, just log in. It's always a really fair price. The insurance is included. The price you see is the price you pay. Uh, I always prepay in advance. It's normally about $100 cheaper. Um, so put in my dates, pick the car. I normally go for one of the cheapest ones. Uh, you normally end up with a bit of an upgrade anyway, to be honest. Um, and then, yeah, just book it, pay the price on there. And that's it, you've got the full insurance. You just show the show your card and your license when you pick it up, job done, dead easy. And I, I like the fact I've got a bit of a rapport with them, so if there was any issues at all, I can say, look, you know, I've used it your last six trips, and you can see all my history on your account, etc. So uh, I do find that, but I always find them the cheapest. I've done it all, I've been through all the different sites looking at them. Uh, I've tried all the different main sites. I even tried that one where you can rent people's private cars over here. And by the time you had the insurance on, it was working out the same, if not more. I've forgotten the name of it now. It's a site where people rent out their own private cars and you can get them at the airport, but when I priced it and you had the insurance on, it was the same as getting a, a rental vehicle. And at least with the Alamo, you know, you've got that roadside assistance and they're a big company and any issues with the car, they've got another one for you, etc. cetera. So uh, I've tried it all. Spent hours researching it in the end, and I'm just like, save the time, straight on to Alamo, job done. Um, not affiliated with them or anything like that. I just like how they work, and it's always quite simple. 
park tickets. Uh, got mum and dad's from Orlando attraction tickets. Again, find them cheaper, cheaper than attractiontickets.com. I always compare the two. And again, Orlando attraction tickets. There is two websites. Uh, the Orlando attraction tickets with all the green, the quite big green smiley face logo. Uh, they were cheaper. I always are. Again, every time I check, always cheaper. Uh, and those 14 day passes, you can only get them online internationally. They don't sell them here at the park gates. And it is good value. You get your memory maker, your pictures included uh, in the parks. If you want to just do that on its own, it's $70 to add that on uh, for a day. If you want the memory maker, the pictures that they take for you that go on your app uh, that we've been getting. I think it was $200 a week uh, at the park gates yesterday to add the picture memory maker on. That's included. Come and go as you like. Park hopping. You get discount vouchers sent to you. And they all, it's, it's dead easy. You pay online, they email you in a couple of days and all your tickets are linked in your little wallet that you log into and you download them to your phone. Uh, so they're the, probably the best place to get park tickets. Again, not sponsored or anything, done all my research and they always come out cheaper. But do always check between the two, Orlando Attraction Tickets and attractiontickets.com as well. Two different sites. I always personally find Orlando attraction tickets to be cheaper and you also get a few more vouchers and discount vouchers as well. Just my opinion, but do check both because you never know, one might be 20 odd dollars cheaper than the other uh, sometimes. Uh, the prices of those tickets did vary on when you were coming as well, so bear that in mind. Um, the price of mum and dad's might be 20, 30, 50 dollars cheaper, uh, cheaper than if you're coming in the peak season. It does vary a little bit. So again, bear in mind, it can fluctuate slightly. And so that was the two main questions that we were getting. Well, yeah, uh, I'm gonna continue on with those Q and A's and the TikTok and everything. So make sure you do follow me on TikTok, uh, Instagram as well. And also don't forget, we've got that Night Strider Florida fan group. Uh, we've got over 8,000 members in there now. Very friendly group. People ask their questions, their recommendations, post their experiences, stuff like that. So. Uh, really friendly, good group that one for your Florida stuff. So do check out that, and uh, it's uh, good, good information in there. I see posts every single day helping people out with esters and flying with Tui, Virgin, Air Lingus, all these different questions get answered, and people help each other out. And what can I do with uh, kids on this day? And you know, a lot of questions that maybe I can't answer because I don't have young kids, and people will ask about the Disney resorts and stuff like that that maybe we don't stay in or we don't really do or know much information on. There's people in that group that will definitely help you out. But for now, I think everyone's nearly ready, hopefully. I'm ready to go and get some breakfast. That Celebration Diner we're going to today, which is uh, nice. It's not the cheapest, so it's not as cheap as your Perkins, your Denny and stuff, uh, but it is nice. It's something a little bit different and it is Celebration. You know, we love Celebration. But yeah, it's not quite as cheap as your Perkins and stuff. Do that, bear that in mind. Uh, but it is usually lovely food massive portions in there don't over order been a few times over order every time the huge portions so keep that in mind Here we are then, celebration, one of our favorites. We've just parked next to the hotel. Now, a lot of you have recommended the hotel for breakfast, so I wanna quickly look at the menu in here. We've been in the hotel for a little drink before, which was lovely, out the back by the lake. Listen to the birds, stunning. And I wanna go and see just what the menu's like, because that could be an option for today. If not, we'll go to the diner around the corner. It's beautiful, it's warming up now as well. Getting nice and toasty, see dad's in his shorts and t-shirt there. Let's quickly pop in and see what the menu is like in here. Well, here we are then, we've gone for it. Look at the view that we've got to start with. And this is the Lakeside Bar and Grill. So you don't have to be staying in the hotel to come in for breakfast. 
Here are all the options. You've got healthy starts, griddles and grills, brunch classics. They have got gluten-free as well. So they've got gluten-free bread and a couple of other gluten-free options. You've got cocktails as well. If you fancy a mimosa, you can have a bottomless mimosa for $16 or a bottomless Bloody Mary for 16 as well. Oh, there's loads of good options on here. So this is in the celebration hotel. You just come through into uh, through the reception and it's just outside, outside the back. And look at the view that we've got here. Absolutely stunning. Dad's already taken loads of pictures. And you never know, you might see a little gator floating by or if any of you have watched the channel for a while, you might remember me and Laura sat here and did a live stream one time. Did you? Yeah, if any of you remember that. Sat here and did a little live stream. Yes, stunning views. People all out on their morning walk here. There's a couple of different lakes you can walk through. You can actually cut through here and they go along a lovely boardwalk or across to some other lakes, see some lovely homes in this area. Got a guy over here having a little bit of a fish, doing a bit of fishing. Yeah, it's uh, beautiful out here. Stunning, so you can just sit and have a little drink. There's a little hotel pool area. Definitely want to stay here one day. One day we're going to do it. Maybe next trip we're going to do it. We're going to do a night in here with this view. Chill in the pool and everything. It's got to be done. If you've stayed here before, let me know. But uh, let's take a seat. Get our breakfast order in. And enjoy this. Well, our order's in. Stunning view. Great recommendation, everyone, on our uh, Florida fan group for this. Look at that as well. I love. It's so cool. It's like a bird's nest, but then painted pink and... Yeah, it's really good. Let's look at that. Yeah, little yeah. So you can't sit out in the sun, but we're in the shade. But it's still nice and warm and comfortable. It's lovely. Love to stay here for a night, wouldn't you? A bit. Yeah. I'm going to Google in a minute. I forgot to ask for the wife. I'm going to Google in a minute how much a night in here is. Okay, everyone. So, in the comments, I don't know where you're watching from, where you're tuning in from. However, I'm sure many of you would love to jump through the screen right now. 20 degrees look at the view how many of you would love to just be on one of these sun lounges or having a little dip a little swim lake around you florida blue sky and sunshine and get yourself a little mimosa or something brought to you on your little table there stunning absolutely stunning look at that for a view i'm, uh, I'm in awe and then all of these are little little lantern burners sorry imagine Possibly help the mosquitoes stay away, but also creates a lovely ambiance. All these on fire. So you can come here for dinner as well. Brunch, lunch, dinner. Yeah, stunning. Absolutely stunning. And the serve is fantastic. I said we normally go to the diner, but we've been recommended to here. So like, oh, thanks so much for coming and trying us. And we can't wait to hear what you think about it, etc. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Let me just take it inside because inside is also stunning. Well, look at you two sipping on your coffees out yeah. here, loving life. Living well, all it's I can say is, stunning. get saving. You're treating us to a night in here next. Me? Well, whoever. I didn't know I was rich. You best get saving. Oh my God. Okay. Because it's between 300 to $400 a night nice. in here. In one, for one room? Do you get like two beds in for, one room? For one room, it'll, that'll be one room for a couple. One room for two, three to 400 a night. Mm. That's no. the same price as a villa. That's the same price as like a six bed villa. Yeah. Is it all inclusive? I didn't ask that. I reckon the breakfast and stuff's included, I reckon, yeah. but three you know or four hundred a night. A big celebration. Hey, literally. Yeah. <laughs> and you I see your pun there. No. And if you were <laughs> celebrating an anniversary or a special birthday. Yeah. Or oh, you want to treat yourself, it yeah. Nice. yeah. It'll be nice to treat yourself. I mean, you, you look up, you get what you pay for, don't you? Look at it, it's stunning. Tell you what, it's 
sun. Very hot in the sun. It's really ramped yeah. up now. We're not oh, used to this, are we? This is what the cave to Florida for. Yeah. This is not what we're used well, to. Yeah. to put your shorts on. I've got them in the car. Put them on in a minute. Yeah. This sitting in the shade with breakfast. I'm glad I've got my jeans on out here. I see what you mean. But sitting in the shade there, I'm glad I've got my jeans on. I love that statue. It's all gorgeous, isn't it? I've seen the go and wander down. Look at the pool. The pool looks so inviting for a little swim. Okay, so breakfast has arrived. Here's my American fluffy pancakes with some very crispy bacon like I ordered. Oh, yeah. Gluten-free toast and the omelette for Laura. Yeah. Mum, looking good there. Got poached yeah. eggs and I. Mm. Yeah. Potatoes, Sausage, bacon. Potatoes. Nice. And uh, mm. eggs benedict, Dad. Eggs benedict. Look at the little paprika over the uh, hollandaise sauce. Bacon underneath. Oh, it's all going on. Nice, with views like that as well as you eat it. Wow. This is amazing. It looks stunning. It's really nice okay so breakfast overall everyone enjoyed theirs apart from me the pancakes looked phenomenal but they were really tasteless really bad texture as well it was almost like they'd missed to add a bit of sugar or flavoring when they were making them so i did send them back and get them knocked off the bill i enjoyed the bacon was gorgeous bacon was stunning yeah pancakes were a real miss uh, for me so i've left them to finish off and I'm going to come and grab a caramel latte and a little cake in here instead. So uh, that's where I am. I've come for a little Starbucks. I don't like those coffees, you know, the big black coffees that they love in America, the big jars of it. I'm just not into it. I love my lattes and stuff. I can't get into that American jar coffee. I'm sure a lot of you will be the same as me. I just don't like the jar stuff. So yeah, we're going to grab a little uh, Starbucks now instead. <laughs> Okay, so while I sit with my little coffee, I'm going to answer some of your Instagram questions on our Q&A. Uh, so, who's your favourite Toy Story character? Asks Jade, definitely, uh, probably Slinky, I think. Uh, how long do you spend editing your videos? It must be a lot of work whilst you're on holiday. That's uh, Wavy Studio Shop. Um, it does take up a little bit of time. I normally do it when we're just chilling. Or at the end of the day, I'll spend a few hours. Or if we're waiting around in queues, I'll do some as well. But it is normally a couple of hours per vlog. Then there's the uploads, the making the thumbnail, the settings, the putting all the keywords in and the description and everything. Uh, Fema, love your box. Thank you very much. Uh, how different is driving there than in the UK? Asks Loopy Loos. Um, it's not too bad. It's um, I prefer it driving here than I do in the UK, to be honest. Big automatic car. And I don't find it bad at all. I really don't. It's quite laid out nice. Um, there can be some aggressive drivers and they will cut you up and they won't let you in. But as long as you stay aware, you'll be fine. Absolutely fine. Uh, let's see what else we've got going on here. Uh, what movie would you turn into a ride? That's a good question, Ames. What movie would I turn into a ride? Well, I'm not a big movie guy, though, am I? Um, I'd probably just have to say one of my favourite movies. It should probably be... Ooh. I tell you, but if it had to be a movie, something Happy Gilmore, because I love Happy Gilmore, but in terms of a TV show, I'd love to see like a Dexter experience. Dexter or Breaking Bad, something like that, if it was a TV thing. Uh, Liam asks, would you go to Miami for a day or two? Brick Hall is supposed to be amazing. We did Miami a few trips ago, off before we were vlogging and we didn't really rave about it. We preferred the Florida Keys, Fort Lauderdale. Miami was busy, expensive, nowhere to park, hard to get around, not a huge amount going on. It was a lot of like swanky panky restaurants and bars. That was about it. Um, so we personally prefer the Florida Keys to Miami, uh, in our opinion. Uh, McCarthy asks, is it very humid or some months worth of worse than others right now? No humidity at all. The main humidity month kicks in probably March through to October. Really humid, especially the summer months, July, August, September. Very humid indeed. Uh, what are your thoughts on Universal possibly coming to the UK? Uh, I think it'd be good. 
I think it'd be good for the for the UK, definitely. We'll see if it happens, but I think it would be good for the UK. Picked an easy time to answer some of these questions, didn't I? Uh, Evie asks, Laura's makeup tips. There you go, you've seen all Laura's makeup tips this morning, Evie. So there you go. How it stays on for the parks. Uh, let's see, we'll do one more before we finish. There's so many. Thank you all very much for sending them in. I couldn't possibly get through them all, but there is loads of them. Uh, PB asks, where is the nearest beach to Orlando? That would definitely be uh, over at... The name has gone. Coco Beach. Coco Beach, definitely the closest. Probably about an hour or so drive. Not bad at all. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Only one day for Disney. Which park would you choose? Definitely Hollywood Studios. It's got the most going on. A bit of fireworks. Hollywood Studios, I think, would be the one. And... Let's see, let's do one more. There's so many to choose from. Some of them are repeats of what we've already answered, so that's why I'm scrolling through. Okay, Inky Elf asks, perfect day, snack, ride, show, combo. Can be any rides mixed, any parts mixed. Um, starting off with a Starbucks lemon cake and a caramel latte, then probably Hagrid's or Velocity Coaster at uh, Islands of Adventure. Followed by maybe a little evening in Epcot, probably, I think. That would be my choice. Well, there you go. I think I've answered quite a few of them there. I think we're all pretty set. Have you been to Wild Florida? If so, is it worth going? We have been to Wild Florida. I believe we vlogged it as well. It's on the channel. So we did vlog Wild Florida. It was good. It was good. Um... Some of the airboat rides are better than others. Wild Florida was decent, was pretty good. We had answers to uh, quite a few of your Instagram questions. We're going to find one with Dad who's gone for a wander and then we're going to go and check out the golf, I think. But, uh, yeah, in terms of my cold, I'm still a little bit bunged up, but nothing really coming out. I just I probably sound terrible, but it's all bunged up in my head. But yeah, let's go and find Mum and Dad. We've got a big delivery going on and all kinds here, and the birds are going nuts. Stunning little view of our lake here. Birds of prey flying over. Definitely busier than when we come first thing in the morning, isn't it? And uh, that truck there was delivering all the fresh fish to the, the uh, Celebration Town Tavern. All the fresh scrod and stuff coming in on the truck for dinner later. Very nice. And then just over there is the other breakfast spot that's very popular here, which is the Celebration Town Diner. Good for a little breakfast. I'm just going to quickly mooch in a couple of these shops. Because we do like the uh, the Wolfgang, we like to get Rio some treats. And then there's Kilwins, which is the sweet shop. And then there's a couple of others down there, which sell nice lounge fly backpacks and Disney stuff. Yeah, the rocking chair's all taken. Little bike ride, coffee, and then a little rock in the rocking chair. Not a bad little morning routine, is it? It's coming up to lunchtime, so you can see plenty of people about this. Is a, this is a Thursday as well, everyone. So Thursday lunchtime, look how busy the area is. Probably because of all my vlogs. <laughs> uh, there's quite a few Brits around and a few people have said hello. Yeah, real nice uh, buzz about the place. But if you want it nice and quiet here, first thing in the morning is definitely what you want to do. Little layout of celebration. So this is where we are just here. That's the Starbucks town diner. Uh, there's the hotel. That's where we've just been out the back having breakfast just here with the pool. And then these are some nice shops here. Which is where we're heading to and then down that main street as well right so we've got to go in the wolfgang bakery and get rio some treats it's got to be done it's got to be done look at the cake you look at the biscuits and stuff in here if you've not seen this before and you've got any pets you've got to come in and get your pets some of these look at them they look like biscuits you could eat yourself i'd dip some of these in a cup of tea look at them i could just eat them a little cup of tea they even do bake full birthday cakes for your dog amazing look at the donuts as well so normally we've got we've bought real one of these before the mickey ones and then he likes these starbucks cups as well like a pizza, like a pizza do you think yeah and a beer, so and a beer. Okay. Ah, beer would be good for the bar yeah <laughs> and you've got uh, an alligator there as well lucky shamrock all right we'll have to get him a few then so just to show you as well, this is what Rio wears every single day as well, is this brand. Uh, this is his, he's got this. 
which works like an aeroplane seat buckle and they're really good. Uh, they're not cheap, $24, but Rio's had his for a few years now and they wash and everything and they're really, really good. Really good, because we've got that and the matching lead. Some good toys and stuff in here as well, some funky stuff, fried chickens and all kinds going on. And you've got bigger collars. There you go, there's his matching lead. So if you want the same as Rio's got, it would cost you about $45 or so to have the same as what Rio's got. got bandanas there as well, all your Disney bandanas and all kinds of different treats and food and products for your dog. It's just amazing, Aaliyah. Fun, isn't it? So, Rio's Treats purchase, we gave some change to the little dog charity and now I want to pop into Kilwins and pick up some of my favourite little chocolates. This is really good for ice cream and stuff. Now, believe it or not, this is the only place in celebration with public toilets, Kilwins. So if you do need the toilet, this is the place you have to come. They don't have one in Starbucks or anything. Now, the problem is it doesn't open until 12 o'clock. So bear that in mind, if you come into the Starbucks or anything, unless you go in the hotel, there are no toilets yeah. around. Here's all your different chocolates you can get. All your different little sweets and chocolate covered marshmallow. It might have to be one of them, I think. Might have to go with one of them. You got chocolate covered Twinkies. I like these. The non parels are lovely in here. But the chocolate covered marshmallow is good as well. So, just picking up my favourites. These uh, little non parels. These are my faves. They come in little bags like that. Other chocolates as well. Nice. Just gonna get them. And we'll make a move. Do good ice cream, but I'm not in the mood for ice cream just now. Now we love this shop with all the different celebration and Florida themed stuff. Lovely little cushions and decorations and everything here, little coasters, huge loads of Christmas deckies as well. All these are really nice, Mickey's Balloon Shop, these are gorgeous for Christmas to go on your desk or your mantelpiece all light up at night and stunning aren't they? All the Grinch gear, got all kinds, absolutely all kinds in here. If you're into your Christmas stuff, look at all this. Loads to choose from. They're quite good as well. The little ice creams, cookies. Gingerbread man's good as well. They all look so realistic. So a lot less set lounge flies than they used to be. That one's quite interesting. The 100 on. Not as many as they used to be though. This used to all be full of lounge flies. Not anymore. Some interesting ones still here though. They're the, probably the most interesting, I think. And the birthday one's super cute. And you've got that one there as well. And yeah, the birthday one. The Everest. Yeah, that's good. Some lovely glasses here for Mother's Day and stuff like that. Best daughter ever. They're all like hand painted. Some really good stuff. Loads of dog and dog and cat stuff. Loads, mugs, cups, glasses. Those. Measuring spoons for cooking. Wow. They're a different look at them for Christmas oh as well. God. The uh, snowmen. If you had a baker in your family, they're oh, an yeah. amazing gift because that's stunning. Nice. I love them. Okay everyone, so fast forward a few hours. Hasn't quite been going to plan as at this trip. Everything keeps changing. Uh, we called at Golf and it was extremely busy, fully booked for the next three days, full price. And uh, yeah, just extremely busy. So no chance of that. Uh, so we'll have to have a rethink on the golf. We came back, mum and dad are just chilling now, having a little bit of time by the pool. It is a beautiful day, so it is a nice pool day. And uh, me and Laura are gonna jump in the car now. And uh, we're going to pop out, it's coming up to sort of lunchtime, we've had a good little chill. And I want to have a little look 
And I did say we're going to go back to those different petrol stations to see the different petrol station food. Uh, so we're going to uh, pop and film the clubhouse for our villa tour on the way out. We're going to pop to those petrol stations and show you the food that you can get in there uh, for the price because eating out is getting more and more expensive over here. Uh, chatting to our friends yesterday, we were saying they were saying about how everything's just you know keeps sneaking up a dollar here, a dollar there. Everything's just creeping up. So I want to show you some of the bargains you can get in those petrol stations for fresh, hot, cooked food. And then we'll see where the rest of the day takes. I think we might end up heading to Disney Springs. Just needs a little day away from the parks. It is a, it is a beautiful day. It's a lot more like it should be over here, uh, weather-wise. But yeah, let's uh, head into the clubhouse and then we'll uh, see where we end up. Let's check out those couple of petrol stations, racetrack, 7-Eleven, and then we'll see where we go from there. First petrol station we've come to then is Walmart, which is where we actually choose to fill up. We always fill up at Walmart with fuel. However, there is some bargains to be had. I mean, look at this, 78 cents for any size fountain drink, up to 42 ounces. There is some bargain drinks in here. Let's see if they've got any food as well. Look at all this water less than six dollars massive pack of the great value so a lot of this is what they sell inside the shop let's have a look what they've got bargain wise well there's a couple of deals here little bacon cheeseburger one dollar fifty some different little sandwiches 3.89 nothing particularly cooked there though i think the more cooked stuff is going to be in the other ones let's see if they can't they've got more cakes here as well I'll sell all this inside walmart itself so the bargains mainly in walmart are going to be these so you can get 98 cents for any size icy. You've got cherry coke and blue raspberry. That is a bargain. 98 cents, that's a dollar. And then the fountain drinks as well, 78 cents. So if you want to grab a drink while you're driving around, this is cheap, very cheap. You've got coffee and tea here as well. $1.48 for any size cup of coffee. A bit cheaper than a Starbucks, isn't it? It's a good deal, that. So we're going for an icy here in Walmart, and this big cup here is going to be a dollar. So we're going for half cherry, half blue raspberry. That is a dollar. What would that cost you in the theme parks for an icy? Wow, massive 30 ounce cup for 98 cents. Crazy. These are really cool. I like these. They've got the chocolate stuck to the windows of the fridges so it's all nice and cold inside but they're on display i think that's a pretty cool way of doing it quite efficient keeps the chocolate nice and cold well here's the big icy 30 ounces and here's the receipt one dollar five with the tax that's crazy absolutely crazy i don't know how much they are in universal but that is nuts how cheap that is that is bonkers for a dollar here at Walmart. Right, so we're going to carry on across the highway. We're on 192 here uh, on Old Lake Wilson Road, Walmart. We're going to go on to the 192 and go into 7-Eleven yep. and uh, also Racetrack as well because I believe they've got similar bargains to that but with food as well. Yeah. So next up on our stop is the 7-Eleven. This is home of the big Slurpee, they call it. They've got various different deals. And this is where they've got hot food as well. Uh, let me tell you, I had a pizza from here the other night and it was killer. So let's head on in and I'll show you all of the options available. You can already see the big slab for a dollar. So they're doing a similar deal to uh, Walmart there. Let's head in and show you everything that they've got. Okay, here we are then. We've just come into the 7-Eleven. We've got all kinds going on already. It smells incredible in here. We've got all kinds of different cheese rolls a cheese stick, cinnamon rolls, you've got a 7-Eleven cheeseburger there, tacos, Jamaican beef patties, and these are all two dollars for two for five dollars on the breakfast sandwiches as well. There's the pizza slices, I had one of those the other night. And then here we've got even more on the rotisserie there, you can get your hot dog there. Three for three dollars on the roller grill items, and you've got a meal deal there as well which is $4 for uh, three rolls and a monster. Wow, this is, smells incredible in here. Let me show you all the prices now as well. So your French sticks, three for $2.99. You can get a whole pizza for $10 and just a pizza slice is only $2. Two for $2.89 for pizzas, two pizza slices. Wow. Now along with all that, you've got all of your cookies. So you've got 
two dollars for two two packs these are crazy prices obviously the more you buy the cheaper it seems to be so you can get two peanut butter m m cookies for two dollars got donuts there as well two dollars fifty for a large coffee and a ring donut that's a bargain for the morning isn't it two fifty get a large coffee and a donut to go with it here are all your nitro coffees now as well you've got the nitro brew similar to starbucks so here's all the different coffee options you've got there's so much going on i don't even know where to look so much going on here Okay, so I'm just gonna show you. Click the screen, you've got all your different types of coffees. You go for a cappuccino, you can pick your size, which blend you want, go for a medium blend, leave room for an extra, do you want an extra shot? No. And then we can oh. add, look, you can add caramel. Oh, oh, oh. Place your cup now. <laughs> okay, so you've got to place your cup to get it to come out, but look at that. You can pick exactly what you want, extra shots, creamer, all kinds. Okay, so you've got syrups here you can add to the coffee, different little toppings. So here's your prices for so for a medium, it's two dollars nine. For a big one, two dollars twenty-nine. And you can get an XL for two dollars forty-nine for the coffees. You've got chilled creamer, different uh, sweet treat options here in the cappuccinos, ice, so you can add it to your coffee, have an iced coffee. And then here, drinks wise, you've got the big gulp. These are bargains, these for a big, massive, extra large, $1.59 of anything you want. Mountain Dew, Pepsi, all of that. And then you've got the Slurpees here as well. Similar to an Icy, yeah, I had one the other night. It was delicious. You've got Coke, Pina Colada, Chili Mango, Dragon Fruit, Blue Raspberry. And look at the prices for the big one, $1.99 for an extra large, small one, a dollar. So cheap. So you kids want different Icy's, bring them in. You pick up an icy for a dollar each. We'll give you, you know, you got four kids, four bucks, four big ices. Yeah. Other little sandwiches here as well. Little, you know, Italian subs and little cold cuts ham and cheese sandwich, four dollars fifty. Three seventy nine for a croissant with egg. Crazy. Really good deals. Really good deals. And then a big pizza, eight dollars ninety nine for that. Cheap. Yeah. So I'm going for a hot dog. So you pick your bun out of the drawer. Warm buns. Pick your hot dog off with the, the uh, utensils. Build your own little hot dog. I'll let you know exactly how much this comes to. So the nitro brew and iced coffee, they're not on at the moment, but these are really good deals as well. A medium ice brew, $1.89 for your different 7-Eleven ice brews and iced coffees, not on at the moment. You have got the self-serve taps here where you can get yourself a cold brew. So even the 7-Eleven candy, buy one, get, a, get another one for a dollar. So these are $2.89. So for 3 dollars you can get two big bags of like gummy sharks, gummy worms. These are really good deals, really good deals. All your different peach rings and stuff. They're all buy one, get another bag for a dollar. So you've got a big pack of six cookies here for $3.50. Wow. Well, lovely guy in there as well. He was like, oh, you're filming a bit of YouTube. I was like, yeah, I'm showing you, I'm showing everyone what bargains you can get. He's like, oh, please get the address in. So you know where I'm at anyway, a lot of you know. It's the one on 192 here, right next to Racetrack, which is where we're heading to next. But really lovely guy. So I just got a big bite hot dog. Look at the size of this hot dog. Let me just show you the size of this hot dog. It's a real good size hot dog, that. Fresh, hot bun, hot hot dog. As much condiments and stuff on top as I liked. And that was $2.19. So, so far, We've spent $3.25 on a giant icy and a hot dog. 
crazy. You wouldn't even get a drink. You're not even getting half a drink for that in the parks yeah. yet. And we're going to possibly one of the best options next, which is racetrack. I want to show you all of these. These are dotted all over Kissimmee, Orlando, all over Florida. You'll see them on all the highways. It doesn't have to be here on 192. You can pick up these bargains anywhere along the road. Especially if you've got kids, you just want to feed them a quick lunch. Spot on. I'm going to dig into this hot dog now. So, you've had your first bite. Tell us. It's a proper American hot dog. If you know, you know. Do you know why it tastes even better? Why? Because it was only $2. <laughs> in the parks, that'll be $12. Just as nice as Ellen in the parks. Really good. Really good. Next up, everyone, then, is Racetrack. This is the last one that we're going to be stopping at now. Uh, I have popped in one of these this trip, and I was blown away by how much they had. There you go. You've already got hot dogs and stuff on here. Famous pizza slices. Let's head on in and show you just how much is available in here because it is incredible. Starting off with the grab and go counter then, we've got chicken empanadas, 200 calories, beef empanadas, Ooh, a chicken sandwich, that looks lovely. And the big track bacon double cheeseburger, all your condiments and stuff there to go on your swell ice creams. You've got all kinds of different swell cone ice creams, different flavors, frozen yogurts, etc. And look at the prices so you can get a large one this is massive that large is four dollars 99 or three dollars 50 and you can pick whichever flavor you want and then add all of your different toppings so you've got m ms different chocolate gummy bears all kinds you can add to the top of those and the price includes all of those little toppings so it just says top it you can put as much on as you want including some Hershey's syrups. So here's the prices for the pizzas and all the different croissants and stuff. So the chicken sandwich or cheeseburger is $3.29, or you can buy two for $5. Pizza slice, $2.99, or you can add another slice for an extra dollar. So for $3.99, you can have two big pizza slices, fresh. It's good prices, isn't it? Look at it all in here. Really good prices. Look at that pizza, looks amazing. So you can do a mix and match pizza here as well. So if you've got someone who wants pepperoni, someone wants to try the buffalo, someone wants to try the sausage one, you can do any eight slices, $9.99. But look at them, look at the pepperoni. I'm gonna get a slice of that. Pepperoni and sausage on that one. And look at this, buffalo chicken pizza. That's famous, that one, it looks incredible. Wow. Prices are just amazing, all your different fruit pots and stuff now, if you wanna go for a healthy option. And then on the other side, we've got all your hot dogs. Like we've just had $1.99 for any of these hot dogs. Or you can get buy one, get one for a dollar. So you can buy one hot dog, get another one for a dollar more. Just the price is just unreal, aren't these? Southwest bacon egg roll. Look at them. You've got a corn dogs, pork to mail, tamale. tamale, I should say. And then look at this, soups. Different hot, oh, hot boiled peanuts. Ah, okay. So look at that hot boiled peanuts, they look well random, but you can get a load of them. If you want to try something different, something that's cheap to try though, if you want to try something different, it's good value. Here's your coffee stand now with all your different coffees, dark roast, regular, Colombian. Look at all of these, and again, all just go through on the screen and pick what you want. I'll have a hazelnut, I'll have a medium, and then you can obviously leave room for creamer or not. And these are a medium $1.99. If you want to, iced medium is two twenty nine. Size of the large. Size of that large, two dollars nineteen. I mean, compared to the price of a Starbucks, really, really good value. And then here's all your different condiments. You've got all French vanilla, hazelnut. This is incredible. Caramel macchiato. We need to come and try this one morning, Laura. Instead of our Starbucks, give it a whirl. I'm very tempted by these. You know, I love my Krispy Kremes as well. And then, here we go frozen ices again amazing value you've got sprite dr pepper different flavors in here fanta orange freezy and the prices of these yes it was absolutely stunning so the frozen drinks a small one is $1.59 and a large one which is 40 ounces for a large one is only $2.09 for that huge thing 
$2.09, crazy prices. If your kids love ICs, and then here's your fountain drinks, small one for a dollar, large one, $1.50. These are such good value. I don't even know how they're making them for this price. Here's your different iced teas now, again. I think these are the same price, the iced teas. And then you've got your Powerade, frozen ones as well. Freeze Blast. Amazing value, absolutely amazing. You can really pick up some bargains here. Well, I've got to try one of these pizzas, haven't I? I can't leave you all hanging and guessing what these pizzas taste like. Now, do I go for one with sausage or just normal? I'm thinking one of these normal slices here. Okay, so I had to get a piece of the pizza. Now this was $3.20, but it looks incredible. Look at it. It's like a piece of Domino's pizza, that. Mm. That is proper nice pizza, that. Mm. Not too much tomato sauce either. So I think it's so cheap. You can't even spend your money. What have we spent there? $3.25, $3.20, $6.45 for pizza, hot dog, and a giant drink. Crazy, crazy value. So definitely check them out. It is a place to get some bargain food, especially your family. Imagine staying in one of the villas. Stop off, grab a load of food and drinks, take it back to the villa. Absolute bargain. So definitely the petrol stations, they sell a lot more than just petrol. Imagine these in the UK, wow. So we're just on the way to uh, Disney Springs and i just come across this car here, look. The Queen lives on in the back <laughs> of this car here. Toyota Corolla she's cruising in. There you go, look at her. Let's all give her a wave, bless her. Funny. Well, it's been a nice little chill day so far. We're now heading into Disney Springs for a bit of a wonder. I'm fancying a little chicken guys for dinner. I love the chicken in there. All coated in that nice, ooh. I did have a little bite, didn't I, in the petrol station, but I didn't go mad, I didn't go mad. I, uh, I didn't finish all of the pizza. I didn't go nuts. And we are a few hours on. Uh, tomorrow is a big, big day, mum's birthday. We've got a lot planned, so it's good that we've had a chill day because tomorrow is gonna be full on. You're gonna love the vlog as well, so don't miss that next vlog coming up, uh, which is our big day tomorrow. Big, big day, I'm excited. So good to give mum and dad a bit of a chill. Rest the legs, rest the feet, relax. I'm going to do a little bit of shopping in here as well, get my annual pass discount. Mum and Dad want to buy some toys and stuff for Jude, so we'll use my AP discount for that. There he is, look. You alright there? You had a chill day? I've had a lovely chill day after doing 20,000 steps yesterday. 20,000. 20,000. My legs are warm. Can I just ask? Mom. What poor ladies missing their kits to make your shirt? Any any comments below, guys? What does Paisley happen? You don't like you wear some nice ones, but I'm not so sure about that one. Now. Something like from Haunted Mansion or something. <laughs> <like>. <laughs> some poor lady's got a shirt cut out oh, the middle of her kit. Now so he's put me off this shirt for now. Not it's not my favourite, like it's not my favourite. I'll find it's you nice. some one for next time. It's not time. horrendous, but it's not my favourite. Well, you're not looking at me all night. No, no I'm off. off. I'm off. You know. So. You can stride on. Stride on. Well, a nice little atmosphere with the uh, singers here. Reminds me of being in the Bahamas or something. Castaway K. Nice bit of uh, bit of jamming. Bob Marley. We're heading to Chicken Guy for a little bite. Laura's gone to Blaze and she'll meet us there. Love my chicken guys, although they've removed my favourite sauce, which is the teriyaki. They've taken it off the menu, so I'm a bit gutted with that. Here we are then, chicken guys. Mum and dad have joined me as well, so you can get, uh, you can go for chicken sandwiches, you can go for chicken fingers, I normally go for these, chicken tenders. You've got salad sides, different shakes. You can make it a combo, I normally get a little bit of a combo going. Look at that, buffalo mac and cheese burger. So you can get the crispy chicken in a sandwich, or you can get it as some strips. They look good. So here's all the different sauces they've got. Unfortunately, they removed my favourite, which was the teriyaki. So I don't know what I'm going to get now. I need to see what the... Uh, there's a limited time one that we need to ask about. Yeah, I'm gutted they removed my favourite, though. 
Here it is then, looks as good as ever, seasoned to perfection. Really gutted they got rid of the teriyaki sauce though. And mum and dad have got their crispy chicken salads, look at them. Happy with that? And uh, all of that came to $34. Laura's joined us then with her uh, thin gluten-free pizza. My chicken was nice, but not, not the same without the teriyaki, I'm afraid. Not as good. It's dropped down by about 50% in my likability. Yeah, gutted. It's not the same with just ketchup. Do you enjoy your salads? Gorgeous. Lovely salad. Um, almost as good as the one we had the other night in, what was it, what's that place called? The Line Dancing. Old Red. Old Red. Yeah. It was a salad with dressing and just little pieces of crispy chicken. Gorgeous. Very nice. And it has chickpeas in. Oh, yeah? I never would have yeah. thought of chickpeas yeah. and Chickpeas and a salad, eh? Yeah. The only thing I miss in a salad, and Lydia won't agree with me here, I like sliced egg in the salad. Sliced egg? Sliced egg. No. I mean, I don't well, eat don't salads. Like eggs anyway. Well, you don't eat salads. Oh, definitely so. not. Sliced egg in a cup salad. Yeah, I just love sliced egg. You're not keen on it. egg salad. Yeah, no. Okay. We didn't have an egg salad. I'd have had crispy chicken egg salad. That's only my opinion anyway. You missed the cucumber. Yeah, I do like a bit of cucumber in there as well. Yes. Definitely. Not complaining. Very nice. No, you ate it. Job done. We're going to have a little mooch in a minute. Have a little wander. Might go to the Christmas shop. Ah. Ah. That's an idea. That's an idea. That's so lovely. I mean, it's only 310 days till Christmas, so, you know. Oh, yeah. Everyone's counting it down, aren't they? Nearly Christmas time already. Well, hey, Dad loves Christmas. <laughs> We're just in Ron John's. How cool are these little drink water hoodies? They're boss them. Put it round your uh, your water. They're really fun. Cool little things them. Mum's come to uh, hopefully get a little hoodie or a little jumper she's ironing up. Let's see the one you've ironed iron up here, Mum. Very nice. Nice and soft. What else? That's the other option. Yeah, they're both quite nice. Both comfy. Oh, very trendy. So are you all Yeti fans? Or are you Stanley fans? I've seen all this war going on on TikTok. I don't get any of it. It's a cup that keeps your drink cold. I don't understand the whole battle between them and my car bent down and this survived and all that going on. They are some nice ones though, to be fair. But uh, yeah, I don't quite get all the, the rave about them, to be honest. No, just no. I'm missing me Bobby horse. Yes. That would, that would go gone well with that, but a bit, no. No. The one, the first one in Boardwalk looked nice. That is a definite no. Uh, that's a bit plain, that one. I prefer the others, to be fair. So it's a no? It's a no to that. 100% no. Just <laughs> now. Oh, it's a tricky choice. I think that colour's a bit more you. Do you? Yeah. I don't often see you in grey. I think that colour's more you. Yeah. So we're just enjoying a real good wander about. Laura's got herself some uh, Sephora makeup, some bits and bobs. Mum and Dad, Mum got her two jumpers with the uh, annual pass discount. Uh, it was uh, about $4 off each jumper, which was nice. So do always check if you've got an AP. Um, a lot of the shops, even though they're not Disney shops, still do the discount, which is nice. Uh, these are still playing. Even an hour or so on, they're still having a little bop here. Takes you right back to uh, like the Bahamas on the cruise yeah, and that. Yeah, when you get to like Castle I love those steel drums. Proper holiday vibes, them. Yeah, just enjoying a little wander around, to be honest. Taking in the atmosphere, as I said, tomorrow. Big, big day, so just taking it easy. So that is us home and all done. I hope you did enjoy the vlog. Uh, not the uh, usual long length one today, but tomorrow is an action packed day because it is mum's birthday. We've got loads planned out. So a little bit more chilled today, but tomorrow we will be bang at it. We've got a busy, busy day and an exciting day. So make sure you tune in for that one. You don't want to miss it. So yeah, it was nice to just give mum and dad a little bit of a break today. We have a bit of a chill as well. We came back and just been relaxing, I've been editing and catching up with emails and stuff. So 
it's uh, it's been a nice chilled chilled day chilled evening but tomorrow and for the rest of the week we've got some other big plans coming up i hope you are enjoying the vlogs if you are please do hit the little like button and the little thumbs up button underneath the video and make sure you drop your comments as well any questions or anything that you need help with or uh, recommendations do always drop them because i do read every single comment uh, I can't reply to them all, but I do always like them and I do always read them. So uh, do make sure you drop your comments. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. It's completely free. It's just going to let you know when we upload our next Florida vlog. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. And uh, thank you all very much for watching. Celebration this morning. Very nice. Enjoyed that. And uh, just, yeah, it's nice to have a bit of a chilled one because there's a lot coming up. Uh, thank you all very much. And of course, stride on.